Just seen Harding's car. We'll be in the drawing room. Certainly, my lady. Hello. I believe we're expected. Of course, Mr. and Mrs. Harding. Would you like to leave your coat? Gwen? <laughs> it is you, isn't it? Why didn't you telephone and say you were coming? I didn't know we were until this morning, or I would have. He said we were visiting somebody called Painswick. Lady Rosamond Painswick, his lordship's sister. Oh, I've forgotten that. I'll see you later if I can. She hasn't got time to greet her old friends, then. When were you a friend of Gwen's? have to find ladders to help them achieve their potential. I do so agree. We can't afford to waste working women by not educating them. It's lucky Carson isn't here. <laughs> Carson? Our butler. He's a traditionalist. You recall Mr Carson, madam, surely. What do you mean, Barrow? Mrs Harding used to work here. What? She used to be a... Thank you, Mr Barrow. I can tell it. I used to be a housemaid here for a couple of years before the war. Here? In this house? I knew I'd seen your face. Why didn't you say? I don't know. Well, I, I was going to. You had every opportunity. It seems marvellous to me. You leave service, go into government. Now you're married to a prominent man. 20th century story. I agree. Welcome back. I just feel stupid for not recognising you. Well, why should you? We never spoke. <laughs> You worked here for two years and we never spoke to you. We're the ones in the wrong. No, I, I didn't mean it like that. It was a good job. But not good enough to stay. I didn't want to be in service my whole life, that's all. So you found an opportunity and took it. Brava. Oh, but I didn't find it. Lady Sybil found it. <sighs> Sybil helped you? Yes. But she did everything. <laughs> She looked out for the jobs, lent me clothes, drove me to the interviews. But one time, I remember the horse went lame and we both got stuck in the mud. And, <laughs> oh, the talking we had to do when we got back. <laughs> I remember we were so worried, but she never said a thing about you. It was our secret pact. And then one day, she cornered the man who was installing the telephone here, and uh, that's how I got my first job in business. She wouldn't let me into the library while you met him, so that was you. Did you keep in contact? Christmas cards and such. And then I heard the news. I'll never forget her. Her kindness changed my life. What a lovely way to remember her. She was a lovely person. Darling Sybil. Thank you, Barrow, for reminding us of Mrs Harding's time here. My pleasure, my lady.